What's up, everybody? It's time for yet another edition of... The Mail! That's right, time for edition of... The Mail! That's right! Brought to you by Cloudy Stormy Milder! Woohoo! Thank you for the shirt! And also... So another big addition of Rock Hall. Put the two together. So I screwed up, I forgot this item that Cloudy sent me in the last video of part one. So get to it right away. So I don't know what this is yet. Hey, hey. Welcome legendary Scott Waters fan club. Oh, I gotta have some music in the background. What am I doing? This is Vancouver Spell who I almost saw. Story to be told in a minute. Signed! Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see the goosebumps, but that's goosebump time. One of the guys who played with the Ramones autograph poster. Holy cow. This might go in uh, our jam space for the Ramones tribute band we have because there's other. Like a C.J. Ramon poster from the concert I saw. So I think this would go perfect there. Um, oh, holy cow. This deserves its own video, but... Um, holy cow. That just blew me away. Um, the rest of this stuff seems like junk now, but... Okay, thank you, Cloudy. I'll get back to Spell here. Forgot to pick again. Oh, that's unreal. But anyway, thank you, and uh, I'll show you who Spell is. This is what's playing. Their new album, Vancouver's Their Own Spell, For None and All. I saw them before when they were called Stryker, S-T-R-Y-K-E-R. -E Spelled like this. This was a shirt, earlier shirt that they had before they changed the name to Spell. They were, they were playing with Uli Roth, early John Roth. I was told the show started at 8.30, so I got there uh, 20 minutes before. It was already a lineup, but apparently they opened the doors at 7. They put had Spell playing at 7 to nobody, and uh, so I missed them. Ha! And I even interviewed them on my radio show, so I was really dying to see these guys. I'll feature both these on a What's Spinning um, this is the earlier album, The Lost Moon Sessions, I think it's called. The Full Moon se Sessions. Six song, this is the new full length. I did get goosebumps seeing them play before. Spell sticker. Um, anyway, this is who played that I did get to see at least. And they had a deal for 70 bucks you could uh, go on his tour bus after the show so guess what bus pass one person paid so I went on the tour bus and my brain is so brain dead that there's like a half a dozen people and I thought they were just other people there and some of them were speaking German and but it turned out it had to be the other band members except for all oh, there's a girl another guy but um, I didn't talk to them hardly at all a little bit but did get to talk to Uli sitting right across from me in this tour bus. Like, unbelievable. Um, I even liked him so much live that I bought the t-shirt. Autographed. Look at that. Tokyo Tapes Revisited. But I, they didn't take uh, credit cards, so I only had enough cash um, to get the shirt. I wanted to buy some other CDs and stuff, but it's the tour bus pass or, or souvenirs, and I had to go with the tour bus pass. So I was totally, would spend a lot more money, I guess, but it's a bummer, but I had to get a shirt. But anyway, let's move on now. Um, let's rock hall, so I'm gonna get into what well, a little bit more of the mail. This is uh, something I ordered. 
Oh, this is gonna be another one where I need my trusty knife. Uli was excellent. Um, so nice with the fans. They booted us out of the venue at 10.30 because they had some kind of disco thing or some other thing that happens after. Oh, this isn't rock and roll, but uh, there's a there's a show. I think it's about the world's longest running TV series. But my wife and I might go to visit the state or BBC Studios where they film this. And if I do, there's two different tours: one in June, one in October. If I go to the June one, I might get to see Richie Blackmore's Rainbow the day after the tour ends. So, so this does have something to do with something with rock. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get to this. CD Hall, I'm just going to whip through these. Steve Hill, Canadian guitarist, like Pat Travers, doesn't get any credit. I haven't heard this album. I've only got one of his albums. Um, there's a song called NASA something that's really good on one of the albums I've got of his. So I, this was at HMB's big discount thing. I uh, thought I had another Steve Hill, but anyway, if you like your just like a Pat Travers deal. He's like an un kept, unkept secret or a kept secret. But anyway, Sticks Live. So, uh, fooling yourself, Light Up. Yeah, because Light Up and Crystal Ball were on here, I bought it. Anything else is bonus. I know Prince of Rockwater, Sam Parts Unknown, uh, Renegades' his favorite Sticks song. This is only two or three bucks, so what the heck. Try some Buck Cherry. Gotta whip through this. Never have enough Copies of any Ramones live album for cheap. Um, the Lazies, I saw them. They came here. And if I remember, they're from Australia. They're quite ACDC sounding like Airborne. So um, anybody should like them. And then Monster Truck, their newest album. Featured that. That's an extra copy of that. But it's a blind buy. This one, I can't remember how much I paid. Um, so if you can read Sweet Revenge, I guess is the name of the band. I don't know. I haven't even looked into this yet. Bangs? I don't know if that's... Well, I guess the name's Bangs and Sweet Revenge maybe the album, but... Ah, eh, Blind Buy, don't know anything about them. The Teen Idols have one Teen Idols out album that is just phenomenal end-to-end, -end, so I'm just hoping. Got the blonde girl in there, so you can have the boy-girl vocals. This might be a split, is it? Teen Idols and Spread, yeah. It's a split, so... Haven't heard any of this stuff yet. And Cloudy Stormy Milder, what would it be without some live striper? Yeah, <laughs> won't comment on that. Here's a great band, Gob. That's one of the grossest covers I've ever seen, but... Um, more like a Green Day pop. Not pop. I mean, that kind of punk rock, which I love. Here's a... I don't know if it's a DVD. It might be, but... Uh, one of those reviews where they interview Doogie and so on. Should be a great, great thing to watch. And then Backwoods Metal. There we go. One of the, maybe the best live album of all time. It's in my top 10 for sure. Wish the picture was bigger on it, but wish it was the remastered version, but why not? Uh, Pazzy mentioned the Donnas in one of his comments. I think the Cloudy Stormy Milder. This is their first album, I believe, but it looks like a compilation. There's 23 songs on here. I thought this was their first album, but maybe they did 23 songs on their first album? But I really, they're really punky in their earlier stuff, then they got more hard rock. Here's Vancouver's kind of Ramones, the Hanson Brothers. Any hockey guy knows the Hanson Brothers. I love the goalie mask where it says dumb on the top. But yeah, they're just great. Well, look at... See... That's how ramones -y they like to be. This is a grail. Or, well, kind of a grail, but um, live in Munich 2012. This was 25% off, so... Should hopefully this has excellent sound quality. Scorpions are great. And then this I had before, but I believe I gave it away. And But I remember this thing was phenomenal. How many? Six hours? or It was a ridiculous amount of stuff on here, but it's all the early stuff, because anything from... I include Destroyer because of Detroit Rock City, but after that, I just don't think it compared to Kiss Alive, but that's just me. But So this early era stuff's just fantastic. Um, Got to watch my time. T-shirt haul, because they... 
got to do some good shopping. Uh, anyway, don't hear many people mention these guys. Dropkick Murphys, they're, they get into Iris stuff and... Like, they're not just straight-ahead punk, but they do have some really good punky rock stuff. And I think they cover uh, um, ACDCs. If it's a long way to the top, if you want to rock and roll, I'm going by memory, but... Anyway, Dropkick Murphy is kind of cool. They do a Boston Bruins song, too. And you may as well have the amazing Blue Oyster Cult. This was just too nice to pass up. It's got the blue. I don't know if it shows up the blue, but... Okay. And then these guys are coming to town here, and I've never seen them, but I'd like to, but I, I don't care for the other bands that they're with. So it's like, do I pay all that money to see one band and then leave? I don't know, but Canada has very own Sum 41. I don't know what their new sound is like. I was reading about it, but they kind of... I like their early stuff, the most punkiest stuff, so I don't know where they're at now. And this one... Nothing on the back. Gotta always love Priest. And you always gotta love Rush. Listening, Cloudy? Don't know if I'll get a copyright. Check out the store, uh, Hot Topic. I don't know if their website will show a lot of these shirts, but uh, they have a deal where you buy one and get one half price type thing, so. Gotta love that shirt. And CJ Ramon. The one I bought at the show, had. I didn't really like the design, so I gave that shirt away but I saw this on eBay and not that I'm I don't like monsters either but I had to have a CJ Ramon shirt heck I'm a bass player in Ramon's Chivic Band <laughs> this was a cheapie but I don't know never have too many Ramon shirts this one's kind of a grail one because I went through this I think it was Hot Topic actually <laughs> but it's 30 bucks to ship from the US to get this shirt so I but luckily I just found this here front it's still quite nice with the beat on the brat with a baseball bat, but it's the back that I just love. <laughs> and the roundhouse I just saw last year on a tour, went on a kind of a rock tour thing and they showed the roundhouse, so that was cool. This shirt, I'm Lots of people seem to really like Guns N' Roses. For some reason, I've never totally got into them at all. So I'd be one of these guys who wears the shirt but don't know their songs. But I had to get this because of the back. This is like one of the nicest shirts I've ever seen. And at least it's rock. So Jody, Dr. J. Watson said this album's decent, so I'll have to check it out. And if you're going to get rock shirts, you may as well get one of this guy. What a picture, eh? Isn't that absolutely... When he's pounding, I love it when he pounds the bass like that in the back. And another Lemmy shirt. Run out of time, so just have to... And I saw this tour, so had to get this shirt. So anyway, I guess that's all I've got time for, so thanks Jet City Rezone for getting me this. That's going on somewhere, but anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget, Slower Tropic! Toot toot! Keep lifting right, and thanks again. Cloudy, stormy, milder, phenomenal. Just unreal.